I'm back with a great idea. 16 cylinder magnetic engine with a unique design. Glass or aluminum cylinder with an angle of 19 and 45 degrees relative to each other. What do you think is the best material for make a cylinder for magnetic engine? Imagine. Welcome to energy graphic. Single pole rotational magnet, carbon bushing, belt and pulleys that are used in future model from another mechanism with less friction, aluminum crankshaft, gearbox, generator, and foundation. Very light carbon bushing that can also be used with compressed plastic. At this point, can also be considered that the cylinder can also be made of carbon fiber because aluminum has a great effect on the performance of magnet at higher speed. So, other parts that are made of aluminum here can be made of carbon fiber or composite and I will definitely design the next version the new version with carbon fiber the material of the cylinder in this concept is aluminium and glass the belt and pulley are made of composite plastic and I will definitely use a better mechanism in the new version aluminium crankshaft that can be made with composite parts the gearbox that I may remove in the next version due to fraction generator and foundation I'm in love with this design this is so incredible. The magnetic piston consists of an aluminium piece that is connected to a cylindrical magnet on one side and a connecting rod on the other side. And the rotating magnet, unlike the previous model, has only one pole in this model. And this makes the possibility of locking lens low less. Of course, these are cylindrical neodymium magnets that are placed in a composite plastic cylinder and the distance of the poles of the same name from the magnetic piston makes them ineffective and only the positive poles repels the magnetic piston when approaching the trick I have used to solve the locking problem lens low and this mechanism is that the pistons work completely irregularly with respect to each other and this causes that there is no power blindness part in a crankshaft but how does it work? When one of the pistons is at the top dead center, the rotating magnet of the same pole is placed on top of the cylinder by the timing belt and pushes the piston down. As the piston moves down, the rotational magnet rotates and the magnet side of the rotating magnet moves away from the magnetic piston until it reaches top the center again. This mechanism is performed in 16 cylinder at different time. And this time difference between the movement of each piston and the rotating magnet causes that when the magnet enters the top of the cylinder, the other cylinders reject it with the help of each other. And this is the basic point of the idea that in the next version, I will present my new idea, which is the upgraded version of this system. And after turning the crankshaft, it transfers the power to the gearbox. And the gearbox diverts its between the generator. And the generator starts producing electricity. Do you think this engine works or doesn't work? Jump into the comment and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to check out one of the ones I will link it right here. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification. As always, I'd like to thank all of you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.